next road, I want your guys to start, uh, pay attention how your brain works when you spine or when you flow, when you do the, the road here, okay? I want to explain the way I see, and I want your guys to recognize the way you see things. Can look like look like simple, but it's not. If you never stop to think about how your brain works and, and when you spiral, maybe you'll ne never be able to change something because maybe you act too much in the reaction, too much reaction, not respond, too much reaction. So that way you the, the learn that way. You need much more time for learn that that way because. You accumulate mistake, accumulate a good result, and after you take the result from that, you start to learn that way. Yeah. The way I want your guys to start paying attention is a little bit different. You, know? you can think like uh, the difference between symbol and just like a letter, or just like a word. The difference between both things. Now, for example, when, when you see like just the, the, uh, the letter M, now just the letter, you know, you can, uh, you can use this for use in the main words, but it's just a letter. But when you see like that letter, like that format, head, yellow, McDonald's, this has become a symbol. When you saw that M, a lot of information come already in your mind, you know? Everything you know about McDonald's in one flash is there in your mind. You connect all the neurons for that image. So that's the difference between just word and a symbol. So if you, when you do jiu-jitsu, if you look like more a symbol, not a word, you, you have like much more fast information coming in your mind. Let me explain something here. For example, I can explain that here. When I say like, uh, think like a word, one word after another word, now when you talk like this, word after word, and you think like the technique, for example, I go for this slide. If I just learn word after word, it's one, two, three, yeah, one, Two is word, you no know, one, two, three, four in the past. You, know, you can use that methodology to start to learn the movement first. But when you start sparring and you're still in that mode, you take too much time, you're not able to adapt when this change. Okay? But if I see just a picture, just a image, just a symbol, it change everything. For example, when I see that picture here, I know it's not time to do this line. Because it's flat, it's at both legs, it's not time to do this. So I don't see that, no, no, that symbol is not there yet. If I don't see any symbol here, if I don't see any direction what I can do, I need to move. It doesn't matter what movement you do it. So that's the thing like, I need flow, I need to do what is given to me, but if nothing coming, I need move. Okay, I just, just do my first movement. For example, if I start moving that side because I know all past, I don't have anything from here. I need to put it in the side position. And from here, I can see what the symbol means for me, you know? For example, if the leg is more open, the symbol for me is go here, okay? The symbol come for knee cut, but come like a big picture because anytime when I go for knee cut, he's changed something, I'm able to already change the symbol again. Now you change the situation. Now I can go like change different technique. I can start to like that way. But if I come word after word, I want to do this, I want to force this. When I say there, here, I come in my mind, I want this like, I already like force. It's possible, no, but I need to spend more energy, force, force, force. You start to put the like here, I still want force, I, I want that technique. Doesn't mean it doesn't work, no, but you need to spend much more energy. But if you're able to see just a symbol and give to you the direction, you have to change that direction all the time. So if your mind has too much words, you live by words, it's difficult to see reality, what happened in your life. Because you already put the image in your mind for that kind of situation. For example, if I don't like that guy, every time when I see that guy, all that information comes to me, I act based and the meaning I give to that guy, so I don't see the reality yet, because nothing happened yet. I don't have anything with that guy, so I don't see the reality. And I already act based the the thought I have about that guy. The same thing here, I, I spar here, I know he's really good, you know, I have really strong for that, so I never had the confidence, because I, I have scared to start doing anything. Many times I able to do it, but because I create image, you know, I create the story here, no, he's really good, I never be able to pass that way, I never try. And the opposite can be true too, you know, you put, no, I need to pass, I need to pass that way, and you start to force the technique. So I want your guys today start to do this, you know, every time, 
if you don't see anything, and, and I don't see any way to pass the guard, start to move. Just see what he's giving to you, you know? And I want you to start to recognize when the flash from some technique comes in your mind. That flash comes. And you're already going. Don't hesitate. Go. And but anything change already, you need to be able to change. Okay? You just start, but you don't know how you will finish that position. Okay? So I want your guys looking if your brain works that way and or if you create too much story in your mind. You know? I don't know, I cannot do it, or the guy is strong, I need to do this. So last you have that information in your mind, this means you deal only the situation. And slowly you start to see everything you now. Every configuration, him is telling me something. That symbol tell me something. You know, it's not just what comes in my mind. I need to see what he's doing, and based this, I go do it that way too. So this is why when you train like eyes closed, it's for your practice. Don't don't create your symbol only based on your eyes. You create that symbol in your mind based on what you feel. But you need to create that image the way you are here. For example, I don't see, but here close by, I I almost have the idea where his are, you know? Everything is moved, change the leg, I, I have the sensation, I can, in my mind, I can see the, the butt configured the way, the way he's here, now, you know? So this is why when you press and eyes closed, you need to look for this. You need to see in your mind the way he's moved, the way his butt. You know, you already feel where his arm, where his leg. Even if you don't see, don't watch in your eyes, you know where it is. So this eyes closed, practice this. Now you start eyes open, still, now I can have my eyes, and but I want to have all the feeling, okay? I don't want your mind to work as a word. That technique, that technique, that technique. No, just they start. They start you need to have in your mind, okay? If you don't have hands for anything, it's because you need to put more information there, okay? The first one. It's like a, a jab, no, just do the jab and see what happens the next, the way they react. The same thing, you need to have like a good jab for everywhere, you know? I can do like this, I can be all good on this, I can put good in the first movement. And from that, I see what, the way he reacts. I can do like one movement, and I see the way he reacts. Okay, and base his move, I interpret the way he's move, and I move again, okay? So I want your guys, I know it's difficult because you need move, you need to, but I want your guys pay attention more how your mind works when you do the, the flow, okay? So this is why you don't need to go fast or speed now, or don't put too much pressure yet. Give time for your pay attention in your mind, okay? And for next round, when you go a little bit more hard, it's become more difficult to pay attention. So I uh, start the balance between thinking, see, and move, okay? So let's change the part and let's do a little bit. After this, if you have a question, if you don't understand what you talk about now, you can talk after, okay?